be honest Out of my heart if I be honest She in control but she be lying
wanted to show you guys my little flower collection here i actually have a lot more but they are at home i told my husband to bring them home so the only ones that i kept here are like the ones that came with vases so i need to tell him to take this home because this one doesn't have a vase but you guys these are so pretty thank you guys so much to everyone that has been coming all my friends my family and bringing me flowers you guys i freaking love you guys so much you guys don't even know so yeah I'm waiting for me to go home so I could put all my little flower collection together. And yeah, you guys. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, I don't know what day this is. I don't know if this, this is day nine, probably. I'm losing track of the days. So <laughs> I know in my vlogs, I've been putting six, seven, eight, whatever. But honestly, I don't even know if I'm getting the days right. But yeah, just keep up with me, guys, because my brain is like all, I've been locked up in here for too long. Let's just say that. <laughs> But yeah, okay guys, I'll catch you guys over there. Okay, so I never got to tell you guys about um, how my kids took it when I told them that about my condition and what's going on with me. Okay, please let's hope I do not cry, you guys. <laughs> I am so tired of crying. Like my eyes are like, girl, like that's enough crying. But let's, um, but yeah, anyways, so. I never have told you to, got to tell you guys about how it went when I told my kids about me having cancer. Um, so it was a very, 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 very emotional time. Um, I honestly didn't want to tell them because I don't want them to like worry, you know, and think like, oh my God, that's it. Like my mom's going to die, blah, blah. Because obviously, you know, when you hear the word cancer, it's like automatically like that's what you think, you know? So I was telling my husband, I was like, you know what, I think we do need to tell them because they're going to start seeing me weak and um, they're going to start seeing me like weak, like my hair is probably going to fall off, you know, and they're going to be like, what's wrong with you? Like, why, are you, why do you look so sick? Um, but yeah, so when I told them, it was just me and my husband and our kids in here. Obviously, my oldest son, he's 15, and my middle child is 10, and then my youngest daughter is 3. Obviously, she doesn't know what's really going on, but she just started crying because we all started crying together. But I feel like the one that took it the hardest was my middle child. Um, he was just, like, sobbing, which made me, like, feel so freaking bad. Like, I hate that I even had to tell my kids this because that was, like, the one thing I was trying to avoid. Like, I did not want them to worry about me, you know, and think, like, the negative, obviously. But, like we just i just felt like i just had to because they're gonna see me eventually you know like i'm gonna be looking different probably i'm gonna be looking more sick um but yeah so my middle child did take it the hardest like he could just not stop crying and then my oldest he just started literally just tearing and i know he was trying to hold back and not really show me like too much i know he's trying to be strong for his siblings you know and for me. God, I said I was gonna cry. I hate that I cannot talk about my condition without crying. But, um, yeah, so my middle one took it the hardest. But I know my oldest was hurting a lot, but he was just trying not to show me. And then what also made me so sad was my little daughter, she actually started crying. Like, it's not regular, like, whining cry. Like, it's actually, like, a very, like, emotional type of cry. And obviously, she's only three. She doesn't really understand. But just the fact that she's seen us all crying, like, literally made her cry. And I felt so bad. But, I mean, thank God she doesn't, like, understand it yet. Like, you know, that I'm sick and stuff. But... You know, that's my little baby <laughs> I just need that chance to see us cry like that but yeah anyways so yeah that's how it went and like they just kept asking me questions I told them like I just kept reassuring them like I'm gonna be strong for them you know I don't want them to think like oh mommy's gonna die blah 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 like I want to show them that I can overcome this and I just kept telling them you know just pray for mommy every night you know make sure they take care of each other even take care of their dad you know you know i know my husband is going through it as well but like obviously he has to be strong for all of us you know 
but yeah it's just hard it's just like a really tough situation i never thought like i would ever have to deal with this type of you know like pain with my kids and my little family you know but i'm just you know i just keep telling them like don't worry about me like you know i'll be okay i'm gonna push through this for them you know But yeah, okay, you know that I'm gonna stop crying. Um, but yeah, that's just that's how it went. Um, you know, like I said, thank you guys so much for all of you that have been supporting me, whether it's part of seeing me or like you know, sending me a message, reaching out to me. Like, you know, I know everybody's busy, I don't expect everyone to come and visit me, guys. Like, just you know, you guys text me all the like, all my friends family text me all the time like reach out to me and message me which i am very 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 thankful for you guys trust me when i say you what your guys is like words of encouragement and support really helps me get through my days here when i'm alone like i hate that when i'm alone like i start crying and all that it's hard to like think about the what ifs you know it sucks like i try my best not to think about it but you know obviously i'm in here by myself and like I can do nothing but just think and I hate that I'm such like an overthinker I think about stuff too much you know I don't know how to just like block it out of my mind sorry my nurse came in here she was just making sure my core and stuff was working well, fine but um yeah anyways so I was hoping okay anyways I forgot what I was even talking about but okay enough of that because you guys I'm sorry if my vlogs are like literally nothing but me crying <laughs> I try, I try i'm so sorry guys i really try not to cry but ugh, i'm just so emotional like i can't even not cry okay so anyways saying um i actually don't think i could shower because i was just talking to my nurse and i forgot that my chemo i'm going through my chemo right now and it's gonna be difficult and i'm not trying to like mess anything up while my chemo is going so i'm just gonna do a wash cloth thingy wiping down so yeah i was hoping to shower but i totally forgot my chemo was going the nurses come coming inside and I get so shy about getting in front of them because <laughs> they're like what <laughs> but um yeah so that's what's gonna happen to me just waiting on my breakfast and gonna take a wipe me down whatever mask whatever it's called but yeah um I'll see you guys in a bit when I get my breakfast so I wanted to show you guys this one of our very close friends um came and visited and made this shirt for me you guys this was like the cutest little thing so he made this shirt so that way all my visitors can like write a little message for me um but yeah so it just says be the one to write your own story because this chapter has no ending but happiness and it had like little wings with the little lymphoma color um cancer ribbon i guess so yeah i thought this was so cute thank you so much for this but yeah, I wanted to just show you guys this real quick. And then we have it like hanged on the little board thing that was on here. Because it was like so plain. There was nothing on here. I was like, oh wow, that's such a good idea. Just pin it on that little board. So yeah, now I have a little something for my visitors to come right whenever they come visit me. So this is what we have for today's breakfast. So this is blueberry, um, what is it called? blueberry crepes with one little piece of sausage and then of course some fruits and then some cranberry juice and milk. My dad is going out with a little shirt for me because he's looking at my sister. This is what we have for today's lunch. This is called chicken marsala with garlic herb potatoes and a, some ratatouille. So let's see how this tastes y'all. And then of course with my fruit cup and my cranberry. Guys, shout out to my mother-in-law. I was literally hungry and I was about to eat my food that they gave me here in the hospital, but she came through and made me my chicken soup i asked her she asked me what i wanted to eat earlier and 
At first I said I was fine, but I know my mom and mom are always gonna wanna cook me something, so I started to make me some chicken soup and it came just in time, you guys. Shout out to my mother-in-law, I love her so much. Thank you, mom. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's around like about to be 7 p.m. right now, so I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. Um, nothing new is really happening. I'm still doing my chemo medication, but um, yeah, you guys, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, also, I keep forgetting to add that if any of you girlies or whoever are going through the same thing as me, please reach out to me. I would love to like talk to you guys and you know talk about your experiences and whatnot. So yeah, we could be little kinds of friends. <laughs> but um, yeah, I keep forgetting to add that in my video. I've been wanting to say that, but I keep forgetting to say it. But yeah, you guys, hit me up if you guys are going through the same thing as me or went through the same thing as me. I would truly appreciate it. I would love to hear you guys' stories and how do you guys overcome it and all that. But yeah, that's all for now. I'll see you guys.